Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you guys how to install apps onto iOS 3 in 2022. So there are a few things that you'll need. So obviously you'll need your iOS 3 device which I have right here. And you will also need to, to make sure to be jailbroken in a way, a way to tell if you're jailbroken or not is if the app City is on your home screen. The way, if you're not, if City is not on your home screen, then I'll have a tutorial below on how to jailbreak it if you're curious. If you want to, if you want to and then you can come back to this tutorial so so yeah so now let's go ahead and get on to the things that you'll need other things that you'll need for installing apps which is you'll need to go to this link to this mega.nz folder which i'll have right here which has all sorts of old ios ipas now and now you'll want to know your exact devices iOS version when looking for IPAs because different I because depending on what iOS version you were on only certain IPAs are that are me meant for this your specific version and older iOS version and older versions of iOS are going to work so all iOS 2 IPAs will work and all IP PAs that say it there for iOS 3 will work, but if it says like 3 I for iOS 3.1.3 and you're not on 3.1.3, you won't be able to use them. Or if you're, they say iOS 3.2 and you're on iOS 3.1.3, you won't be able to use them. So as until I'm on iOS 3.1.3, and if your device starts and if your version that specific version that you're running starts with 3.0, then it will not work. That will not work. And I want to give a big shout out to iTechOS right here, who has a YouTube channel and an, inst and an Instagram. Well, if I find his Instagram, <laughs> I forgot to do that. This is my Instagram, by the way, if you're curious. So, let's go find him. As you can tell right here, this is his Instagram right here. Yes, I know it has a different name. And then you also need an app called iPhone Box. It's compatible with both Windows and Mac, so you can use either one. And if you're on, and if it doesn't work for you, then there's a chance that your iTunes version is too old because I had the issue. So just upgrade iTunes and it worked just fine. So now, once you've gotten all your IPAs downloaded, you can get started with the actual tutorial. All right. So the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to go. Hop into Cydia once you're connect once you're connected to Wi-Fi. There we go. So we want to hop into Cydia and wait for it to finish loading. And then what you will need to do is you'll want to go into sources, click edit, add, and you'll want to type in C Cydia dot in va voxy play play games dot uk slash ios3 and click add source as until see it just glitched out there for me but as you can tell it is verifying the url City Edge just is slow on iOS 3, so I'll need to give it a minute. Okay, I'll get back to you once it has verified the URL. Okay, so I had to re-add the repo. I had to exit out of City Edge and re-add the repo because the first time, obviously, it was glitched out there, so... However, if you have succeeded in installing the repo, it will come up as iPhone OS 3 party, so you want to click that. Go to all packages, and if your iOS version starts with iOS 3.1, you'll want to go into AppSync for iOS 3.1. But if your ver iOS version starts with iOS 3.2, you'll want to go to AppSync for iOS 3.2. So, obviously, since I'm on iOS 3.1.3, I want AppSync for iOS 3.1, so just hit click install, click confirm. And just like that, it should begin downloading. So, I'll get back to you once the tweak is done downloading. 
So you obviously want to make sure your device is, ver is connected to your computer now and, ver and verified by iTunes. So once you've gotten that situated, you can obviously just... Now you'll want to open up iFunbox. So as you can tell, it will go like the, this, and then you'll want to head over to the app section. Then you'll want to go to install app.ipa. And then you'll want to find an app that you want to install. In this case, I want to install Facebook because I want Mark Zuckerberg spying on me all the time on my legacy Apple devices. So just wait for it to finish installing. And just like that, bam, the old version of Facebook is now officially installed and it messed up my app arrangement. But the only thing that I do want to disclaim is that a lot of apps do crash on iOS throughout 1.3, at least in my experience, or just flat out don't work. Like Zippo Lighter, for example, the old Lighter app that we all remember. That, unfortunately, just crashes on iOS 3. But that's how simple it is to install apps on iOS 3 in 2022. If you like what you, you saw, please smash that like button and please subscribe to my cha channel. Uh, all the links will be down in the description. And as always, peace out.